Now, what I loved about key lime pie, and particularly how to make it properly, was the simplicity of it. And I'm going to use the idea of that to make my dish, which is limes with granola and snow eggs. The first element of the dish is the lime curd, and that involves condensed milk with lime zest and juice. A bit like Steve and his key lime pie, but I can't get key limes, so I'm going to use these sort of Persian limes. Difference in flavour, but they will work roughly the same if I add the zest to it. Now, this is where I think Steve has the ultimate life. Make a pie, fall asleep. Make another pie, build a motorbike. Make another pie, go fishing. It was kind of like a, a great lifestyle that he's built himself and a, a little oasis in the middle of Brooklyn. Now, it's the acid that actually thickens up the condensed milk. What you don't want to do is over mix it. So just leave it like that and then pop it in the fridge just so it can firm up. The second element to this dessert is the sugared granola and that starts with a basic caramel. Melt caster sugar in a pan then pour it onto a baking tray to set. Now if we added nuts to this like almonds and hazelnuts this would be classed as praline but we've already got a similar sort of texture with the granola. We've got the nuts, the oats, and I'll combine the granola with the caramel later. So next we can make our meringue. Now for this I'm going to do a classic cold meringue, which is four eggs, eight ounces of caster sugar. The meringues are the real star of this dish. I'm gently poaching them by heating milk with a vanilla pod. When the milk is hot but not boiling, Shape the meringues with two spoons and drop them into the milk. The shape and texture of the meringues created by poaching them rather than baking earns them the name Snow Eggs. They only want about a minute or two. So while they're cooking, we can finish off our caramel, which is now set. You see you just get this solid piece of sugar. And you can break it up in a machine. Spoon some of the Blitz caramel onto a baking sheet and place in the oven for a couple of minutes to melt into pliable strips. Then mix the rest of the caramel with some granola and you have a delicious crunchy garnish. And it doesn't take long before the caramel strips are ready. As it cools down, it becomes pliable. You can see when it's just about ready. See, is it still warm? You're still able to pull it and twist it slightly, which is what we're looking for. Now, to finish off, you can lift out the little bits of meringue. And now to bring the whole dish together, start with the lime curd. Sprinkle on some sugared granola, carefully arrange a couple of the snow eggs, more granola, and finally, the caramel twists. Now, I hate the word deconstruction, but Probably that's what I've done, really. But it's a simple little lime mixture with poached snow eggs and sugared granola. Now, poaching meringues may be kind of like a restaurant -y dish, but give it a go, really. The taste is really good. But it's all in the limes. If you can get hold of key limes, it really does make a difference in the taste. They're much sharper than the Persian limes I've used. But it still tastes good, though. <laughs>